Raquel Gill is taking a huge step forward with a little help from these high-tech prosthetic legs. I felt that in the lungs. <laughs> The 19-year-old lost her legs in a car accident three years ago and has struggled with prosthetics. You always have to, like, take precautions and if there's no bars, you need help. With her old artificial legs, it took a lot of effort to get her knees and ankles to bend properly and to keep her supported. But with sea legs, microprocessors do most of the work. Computer chips in the legs actually self-adjust 50 times a second to help her move. I'm not as half as tired as if I would have just done that with the other knees. With these, I feel secure. I don't even look down because I know that they're going to catch me. The sea leg is far more expensive, costing as much as $45,000. But more insurance companies are starting to cover it because initial studies show it offers amputees a better quality of life. If you want to carry groceries or your child or go to work or whatever it is, um, those are things that we take for granted when you have two legs. Ready? And after only a short time with her new legs, Raquel is ready to be a little more outgoing. I see the legs and I see the wheelchair, I'm like, oh, the wheelchair, much more easier. But with these, I definitely get, oh my God, up and walking to the mall, anywhere. Nice and fluid. New technology helping her to stand on her own. Karen Brown, CBS News, New York.